got my shoes on, I feel like dancing. I got my groove on, I feel like singing. I got my smile on, I feel like prancing. I got my moves on, I feel like shouting. Good morning, boys and girls. And today is Tuesday, April 20th. We want to say good luck to our grade three, four, and five students that are taking the MCAs today. Good luck. Can you read this quote with me? It's one of my favorite quotes. In order to have a friend, you have to be a friend. And that's so important that we're all friends, that we work on our friendship skills and we're kind to one another. And that's what I love about the distance learning school. As I have come into your classrooms, you, you are just developing great friendship skills. And I love how you take care of one another. I'm going to show you a picture. Not only does it work for students, but I have a picture to show you. Here are two teachers. The other day I popped into Miss Moss's class and there was Miss Horton. Miss Horton used to be a fourth grade teacher at Neal Elementary School and she was joining Miss Moss. They are true friends and they were having so much fun talking about teaching. See, even teachers have friends and they work on the friendships. Are you ready for some brain thinking time? Let's see how you do on these. Let's look at our first puzzle. Don't forget you start here and you go this way. What is happening? Look at the first picture. Look at the second picture. Now look at this picture. What would go in the box? Would it be number one, two, three, or four? So if you look at this one, you will see that it flipped. It flipped this way, went from here to here and then a line. So if you flip the S and you make a line, you have number two. Congratulations. Let's look at the next one. Don't forget to start right here. Whoops, I kind of moved it. So look at where you start and go across. What is happening? You may want to look object by object. Do you have the answer? Is it one, two, three, or four? Show your teacher which one it is. So if we look what happens to the triangle, and where it moves to, and we do the same thing here with the plus sign, we would find that the plus sign would be at the bottom. If we look at the second object, it stayed exactly the same. So the second object would stay the same, and so forth. You can see that this object stayed in the same location, so this one would stay in the same location. And if you did it right, you would choose number three. Now here's a new one for you. It's a word one. So oven is to heat as, now you gotta kind of match the same thing. So think of an oven and think of heat. A speaker would be to, would it be sound, music, radio, voice, or stage? Pick a number and show your teacher. So oven gives out heat. So a speaker gives out your right sound. Way to go. You know, it's my favorite time. It's shout out time. Ready? Here we go. Good morning, boys and girls. It is time for our shout outs. Our first shout out is for the math problem extraordinaires from Miss uh, Madigan's class. Giselle and Henry, way to solve the math problem. So proud of you. Our sight word superstars from Northport Elementary and Miss Wellerhurst class. 
Bonnie, Leilani, Lincoln, Ava, Mia, Naeli, you were working on your sight words. So proud of the work that you are doing. I heard you had some new sight words and you rocked it. Miss Overdahl's class, Nick, I saw the story. Here's what Nick had to do right here. Use your imagination and write a story about this picture. You must write in complete sentences. So Nick had to look at this picture and go, hmm, what's this picture of? And you can see it's got a penguin and a polar bear. And, and Nick wrote, once upon a time, there was a penguin. That penguin thought he was a musician, but he was not. So he traveled across the earth playing his, his tools and making headaches. Uh, but he stumbled upon Bob the polar bear. See Bob the polar bear? He started to play, but before he could, Bob ate him. A few hours later, Bob's tum tum wasn't feeling well. Do you see how Bob isn't feeling well here? It was that Mr. Penguini playing his notes. The end. By the way, Bob still ate him. <laughs> the end. Mr. W, uh, Mr. White had some shout outs for his class for having their all their activities in. Anya, Aubrey, Logan, Leo, Aronde, Eliana, and Elan. And the most improved kiddos. Quayshawn, Ian, Peyton, and Riley, so, so proud of you from Neil and Noble School. Quarter four, Miss Valian's class. These kids are on a perfect quarter four for doing everything, all their work, getting it in on time, and showing up. Bella, Kalel, Violet, Raina, Sarah, Gray, Sabrina, Cora, Alex, Raj and Damien, way to go. And quarter three from Miss Fab's class, Miss Monson's class, they want to give a shout out to the students that made the most growth. That means they've been doing a lot of their homework and their, their reading and math skills are really improving. Kai, Cora, Sebastian, Isabella, and Miles, way to go. Way to rock at distance learning, kiddos. We're so proud of you. So, boys and girls, today, work hard, do your best, put on your thinking hats, enjoy my emoji friend, and have a fabulous day. Bye, everyone.